Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be explaining to you what 3D Touch is and how it can be used on your iPhone. Let's get started. So Apple introduced a new feature called 3D Touch in its iPhone 6S and iPhone 6S Plus event. Now I think this is one of the biggest features to arrive to a device since the actual innovation of the touch screen. Now I say this because it's giving us a new way to navigate with our smartphones rather than just using touch and movement, we're actually going to get pressure based abilities. Now 3D touch really is just a fancy word for the force touch technology that we've seen starting to come out with newer smartphones and newer devices. For example, the Apple Watch here, if you press and hold and sort of give it a little bit of pressure, you're going to access various features and settings. So it's already been available in a small scale, but now we're starting to see it with smartphones. With the iPhone 6S and iPhone 6S Plus, this opens up a wide variety of features and abilities on the bigger screen. For example, you have a new multitasking feature. So traditionally, we would have to double click on the home button to access our different applications or our open applications. Well, now with a quick pressured swipe from the left, you'll be able to access all of these multitask features that you had in the past. Now this might seem like a very small thing, but in the grand scheme of things, this saves time and improves productivity. You can use 3D Touch on the home screen to access things you do most frequently, and inside applications, 3D Touch will have multiple abilities depending on the application. For example, emails. If you want to quickly glance at an email, just give it a little bit of pressure on the email. It'll bring up a quick glance that you can see what the email is all about. And if you want to deal with it, just give it a little bit more pressure and it'll open the email for you. So in a nutshell, 3D Touch is able to sense how much pressure you're putting on the screen and in turn giving you the ability to access various features and abilities with that. This is going to improve your navigation, speed and total productivity with the device. Think about it like this. When smartphones first came out, we used to use tactical buttons. When touch came out, it was crazy. Everybody was shocked and didn't think that you'd be able to type on it. We quickly adapted to that. But with that came the loss of a lot of those buttons. And in turn, we had to do a little bit more tapping to access various settings. Having the force touch is an invisible button for us. It's actually like having that assisted touch feature. I've shown videos on that. It actually puts a digital button on your screen. And if you tap on that, you've got a whole bunch of extra settings. Well, this is the same thing, except it's much cleaner and you're going to get more features in different areas. Where I think this could be really cool is in gaming. Now personally, using the on-screen button sometimes can be a little bit difficult and sometimes they get in the way. So being able to remove one or a few of these and change them and transfer them over to a force touch or 3D touch ability is going to be huge. But not only that, imagine if you could use force touch in abilities. So for example, if you're playing a shooter game, if you're shooting with one gun and say you wanted to throw a grenade or something, if you just gave it a little extra pressure, you'd be shooting with one gun and throwing the grenade with the other. I, this is just ideas that I have, but I'm sure developers are already right on this and using this. And actually in the Apple event, they did show a game where you could have one gun shooting and just quickly use that pressure to switch guns. Now this is really endless and developers are going to create amazing games. And this is just one step further in how good these games can be on iOS devices. Now Apple's not the only company that has developed this 3D touch or the force touch abilities here. Other companies have already unveiled it. Other companies have already been using it and are developing it for their future smartphones. So what this means for you as a consumer is that if you're thinking of upgrading and you're thinking of upgrading, you have to go with those two year plans. It might be a good idea to look into these devices that have the force touch ability already integrated in them. As of right now, I don't think it's going to be that big a deal, but as I explained with the BlackBerry having the trackpad, most people ran to that. Then when touchscreen came out with the iPhone, it became the biggest thing and the App Store is the biggest app store on all devices. So developers go with the new technology, they go with features that can add to what they want to do. And if that's the case and you have a device that doesn't have this, you're going to miss out on a lot of things. And I think eventually these devices that don't have the 3D touch are going to be phased out. So think about it like that. This is what 3D touch is. It's really cool. It doesn't look like much at the moment or at a glance, but it really does hold some really good features. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, share this video on Facebook and Twitter, and follow me on those social media sites for updates. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next one.